What's up, y'all? Welcome to uh, this week's Meldrick Moment, uh, named after the great Meldrick Taylor, which is what I call my blunts, because like my like Meldrick Taylor, my blunts are small, but they hit hard. So, uh, uh, also, last week we was talking about Rocky Lockridge. I hope y'all watched when looked at his tapes, man, because he, he was good, man. He was more than just a dude that cried really weird on inter intervention. But uh, anyway... This moment is 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 kind of tragic, but it's kind of funny. It was over in India, and it was a, a a jaguar got loose. It was running around fucking people up, and I was watching it. And I was like, man, this is real bad. This is real bad that this is happening to these people. But then I remembered how much rape happens in India. Then I thought maybe the Me Too people sent that jaguar and let him loose over in India to clean up some of them rapists. You know how much they rape in India? They at, they rape at a rate of like three rapes a day. That's a lot of rapes. So if you got a jaguar like a rape cat to clean up some of those rapes, do that, man. Scratch some nuts. Discourage people from raping. That, that's terrible, man. Indians, stop raping so much, man. Y'all got technology. Y'all got all this. Y'all got fucking Bollywood films to watch. Just... Maybe y'all need to get cleansed every night. And then in the video, is a dog. And he running around like, I can't help. I fight like tabbies and Siamese cats. Like, I can't do nothing for you. Like, y'all, I'm trying to get the fuck out of here too. So shout out to that dog for not getting fucked up by that Jaguar. For knowing his battle. Knowing the fights he could win and the fights he needs to stay away from. But yeah. Maybe maybe they were sent by the rape. That cat was sent by the rape gods. And... and <laughs> It, it's just it's just time, man. So, and that really was it. This week is so much other shit to talk. I really didn't want to spend too much time on this very quick magic moment. So that's it. Very quick, very quick magic moment. That went faster than even one of my smallest blunts. But it's okay because we got a guest this week, and we got a lot of shit to talk mainly about uh, Two Chainz album, Melly, and shit like that. So. Uh, I see y'all next week. Until then, keep those blunts tight, man. Preserve Pot Academy. You don't need to waste no weed, man. Just smoke just enough to get you high. And then that's not enough. Smoke another just enough to get you high. Like, I smoke like four of them a day. I'll be high as a motherfucker. Don't matter. Don't matter. No matter how small the blunt is. No matter how high you get. <laughs>